Welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is Angular 10 full tutorial series for absolute beginners. Starting today, we will be spending the next 5-10 episodes only on Angular testing. We will learn everything and everything about Angular testing like testing components, services, mocking the data, mocking services and much much more. After this particular mini series, I am sure you will be confident and you will be an expert in Angular testing. Let's get started. This is part 84 of the Angular 10 complete tutorial playlist. So please do check out the complete playlist. Um, I'm covering more than 100 plus tutorials. Right now we are on number 84, but I plan to cover more than 100 tutorials in this particular series. If you like this videos, please do uh, share with your friends as well as with your colleagues so that they can also benefit. Also, if you like my work, please do consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash tutorials. This is the playlist and the index. I have covered everything from ground zero to the advanced topics with a lot of use cases of what you would be using in real time. So make sure that you go through this entire playlist so that you can really learn and master Angular. Today, we'll start learning about Angular testing. So this is more of giving you an overview of what Angular testing is about. How do you test Angular apps? What are the different mechanisms and testing strategies that we have? So understanding the concepts is very, very important because writing code, it will be very, very easy once you understand the concepts. So there are mainly two types of testing that we do with Angular applications. The first is unit testing and the second is end-to-end -end testing. A lot of times you would as a developer, if you are going on a real-time project, you would most likely be writing unit test and in some cases if you are applying as a full stack developer, you would be writing end-to-end -end test as well. So what is unit testing? Unit testing means testing smaller, granular, independent modules, services, pipes, directives, routes, services and much more and these individual pieces are co is known as unit testing. In unit testing, the focus is only on the task level testing. For example, if you're writing a new component, you would only test that particular component's behavior and functionality. You will provide input and verify that the output is as expected for that particular smaller module. This is good when you are testing individual pieces because if you have a large team of say 5 to 8 developers, you would be writing unit tests to test your functionality. Now in Angular, Angular has built in support for unit testing using Karma and Jasmine. So you, we will write our tests in Jasmine and we will use the test runner which is Karma. I will touch base, I will walk you through them in detail as we progress in this particular uh, episode and series. Now let's learn a little bit about end-to-end -end testing. Now what is end-to-end -end testing? Now end-to-end -end testing means testing the functionality of the Angular app. Here you would be covering a particular flow. When I say flow, it means let's say you are trying to do a login, then go to dashboard and then go to profile page and then log out. So this entire journey or a flow is tested as part of the end-to-end -end testing. Now remember that Angular used to support, now listen carefully this one, Angular used to support protractor framework, but they have discontinued it. So sometimes you would not see the E2E folder in Angular 12 onwards. But if you are on Angular versions which are earlier, you would be seeing a E2E folder as well. So I will touch base little bit to explain you that also. But remember in new frameworks that is version 12 onwards, you would not see the E2E folder because Angular team has discontinued the support of protractor framework and it is at the end of life 2022, which is the current year. So we will be learning how to write end-to-end -end tests using different frameworks like Cucumber and we will also see how to write E2E using Cypress. Alright, so 
Angular provides built-in support for some of the Angular testing utilities, right? Now, what are the Angular utilities that are provided by the Angular framework itself? So, Angular provides auto generation of code, which means when you generate a component, you would see a spec file, SPEC, right? So, that is nothing but a test, unit test file. Now, we write, like I said, we write our tests in Jasmine and we will run them using Karma framework. Angular CLI has a lot of built-in commands to run the tests. ng-test is one of them. We can also generate code coverage using the Angular command, that is the CLI. We can also use the Angular in-memory service to mock the services and test them. So we will be writing a lot of tests and we will be seeing that in detail, but this is for your information because you should know what Angular provides. I will be covering all these hands-on later in this particular episode or the next one, but understand the basics and the fundamentals first. Now let's talk a little bit about the unit test uh, framework that Angular supports. So Angular provides support for Jasmine framework. So this is a very important question that is often asked in interviews also, which is how, what is the framework we use to write unit tests? So the answer is we use Jasmine framework. You can talk a little bit about it. You can say that Jasmine is an open source testing framework for JavaScript. Jasmine is a behavior driven development testing framework which means the tests are written in non-technical language, right? And it's e easy to read syntax and easy to maintain and extend. Jasmine supports a lot of spy objects, a lot of uh, support for async testing and much, much more. A typical test would look something like this, like you'll have a describe, what are you trying to test? And then followed by a spec, which is it. It should navigate. So for example, it will then do that particular processing. That is part of your unit test or a, or a smaller test. Now, to we have written the test in Jasmine framework, but Angular uses Karma, which is an open source testing framework for JavaScript. Now, Karma is a framework which is used to run the tests. Now, understand the difference beca because a lot of times people get confused with be difference between Jasmine and Karma. So Jasmine is the framework we write our tests in and Karma is the test runner, okay? So ja Karma is used for running and executing the test scripts. Uh, it can be used for automating the flows and much, much more. So as part of the learning in this particular episode and this particular series, we will be writing our tests in Jasmine and running them in Karma. All right, so I want to touch base on the E2E test also a little bit because this is something that is being asked frequently in the interviews as well as a lot of developers are also looking for this information. E2E tests were written using Protractor framework until Angular 10. But after that, they stopped the support of it. So it is no more supported. So that's why when you install any new version of Angular, that is 12, 13, you would not see the E2E folder because it is at the end of life support, which is 2022. But however, if you are on the previous versions like eight, nine, you would see E2E folder because that's what uh, Angular used to use, which is protractor framework. So there is no more support for it, but Angular team is evaluating options of moving to Cypress, Cucumber, Mocha, etc. We will be writing tests using Cypress. I'll be covering that extensively also to help you. Alright, so that was all about in this particular episode, but before I leave you, I want to show you quickly on the tests, right? So if you open your source app, you would see here there is a spec file, right? So take a look at closely in your uh, project directory, you would see .spec.ts files. Now this is nothing but this is the unit test. It has a describe statement, it would have the it condition, so these are your use cases that you are testing, right? So we will cover this in the next uh, episode or so and in detail about what each of this does, why is it important and how are you configuring it, right? But to give you at this particular 
in this particular episode your takeaway is understanding of the testing strategies that is unit testing end to end testing what are the different frameworks that are used jasmine and karma in previous versions before angular 10 that you would see e2e folder here now you don't see it because angular team discontinued the support to protractor framework which was used to write the end to end tests open any spec file and that is what is your unit test okay for this particular component in this case we will be writing a lot of unit tests as a we progress in this series so stay tuned follow with me and i'll make sure that you become master in writing tests for your angular application alrighty so that being said uh, that's all for today's episode but in the next episode i will cover about angular testing some fundamental concepts and then we will start writing the unit tests so join me in the next episode if you like my work please do consider subscribing to my channel please do like share comment on the videos also if you like please consider buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash arc tutorials thank you so much for joining See you in the next episode.